Welcome back to part number two people. Uh, now you see in the local side folder I just have two images left the hover.jpg and the normal.jpg. I've removed everything else. I've removed the HTML5, I've removed the Francis folder and everything that was inside. Right? I just need this, uh, these two images and that's all that I would need. If people you don't want to use my images you can create your own gradients or probably your own textures and then make sure that they are size 36 in height 1 px in width and then we'll create a repeating pattern through the uh, you know background images we'll use the repeat property background repeat property all right so let's do things from the very beginning again people my name is Mohit Mohit Manuja that is and let's start I'm going to create uh, a new HTML document. So let's say file new and make sure that I'm using the HTML5 doc type. Let's hit the create button. All right. So we have the HTML5 doc type out here. Let me have a title going. So just say menu bar. Let's keep things very simple. And let's copy this bit and let's save the file up. Let's call it menu bar 2 and save it inside the local site folder very good okay in the body of the document people I'm gonna drop in the horizontal menu bar so I'm gonna say insert layout objects and then stripe menu bar I would uh, like to go with the horizontal one let me say okay and the first thing that you should do whenever you insper uh, insert any surprise to save the document up so file and a save and uh, now you get a message that says that this page uses an object or behavior that requires the boring files. The following files have been copied to your local site folder that you must upload to your server, your hosting company, for the object or the behavior to function correctly. And people, there are four GIF files, basically the arrows, one, two, three, and four, and one JavaScript file and a CSS file. And we'll be touching only the CSS file out here, which is the uh, fourth one from the top. Let me say OK. And let's start. Uh, creating our own rules. All right. You see that the source code, the HTML document, is now linked to the sprite menu bar dot js file and the sprite menu bar dot horizontal uh, CSS file. All right. And then we have 18 rules to tackle that you see out here. Okay. I've counted them. They are always 18. All right. The main rule that we need to uh, attack first or manipulate first is the and from the top is the most important rule people you will menu bar horizontal space a even before that I would like to go to my local side folder right and then I'm gonna push the hover and the normal JPEG images inside this prices folder after all it's one of the menu bar assets let me open up this prices folder and uh, people let's look at what is inside okay so we have two images out here for the normal and the hover state we have two arrows here two arrows here uh, one arrow which is pointing downwards but is black one arrow which is pointing right but uh, which is uh, again uh, black again then we have uh, a white right arrow and then we have a white down arrow and then we have the JS and the CSS file this is by far the most important file that we are working on at the moment let me uh, remove it out of the view so that we can work with these styles different styles 18 styles that we have uh, in fact straight away let me take up a preview in Google Chrome to see how things look like right now alright so we have a plain simple vanilla boring kind of a menu bar that we are gonna manu manipulate okay now people again as I said this is the most important rule double click and go to the background category since we are not working with colors we are only uh, gonna work with the images so let me make sure that I'm gonna default the color to the default color which is actually transparent let me go to the background image uh, image uh, uh, property and I'm gonna get inside these process folder and I'm gonna fetch the normal JPEG image which then I'm gonna repeat along the x-axis repeat X I'm not gonna touch anything else I'm gonna say okay all right that was change one change two let's uh, tackle rule 11th and 12th from the top and I'm gonna make sure that the 11th 
mirrors the 12th rule so basically I would want both the rules to be identical absolutely the same bring up the 11th rule through the dialog box go to the background category and show that the background color is defaulted to transparent or no color and this time I'm going to use the hover state also going to make sure that it's going to repeat along the x-axis and say OK. I'm going to do the same steps with the next rule. Twelfth one from the top people. Background. Default color. No color actually. Browse for the hour state. Repeat X. People, I'm not uh, going to take you how these rules actually affect the menu bar. If you really want to know that, uh, you can actually open up the uh, Supreme Anuba Horizontal Lord CSS file and read the comments. I'm just going to show you how to do it uh, without getting into the detail of how this actually affects the Anuba, right? So if you really want to know the why's and the how's, then dig inside this, read the comments, and you'll know how the changes that I'm making affects the Anuba. Okay, and so how about state? And just say okay. All right. At this stage, let's see how the Anuba actually looks. Let's preview it up in Chrome and you see just getting there but not quite okay we have four more rules to tackle people two rules uh, just under it and uh, that end with item submenu and two rules again under it which end with uh, item submenu hover alright so I am 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th rule from the top double click bring it up okay uh, go to the background category and in fact there's no change that I need to make out here we'll need to make all the changes in the core view now people I'm gonna accommodate uh, the uh, multiple background images and that can't be done through the dialog box notice with all these rules you see out here there, there are properties out here they are using a down arrow out here which is set at 95 percent 50 percent horizontally uh, and vertically so the along the x and the y axis and it's not repeated you see all these four rules have either uh, right arrow or a down arrow which is either black or white white in the hover state and it's always positioned at 95 percent along the x axis and 50 percent along the y axis and it's not repeated so now all I need to do is I need to go back to this file and I'm gonna make all my change manually you need to now manually code out so let me get to that rule alright uh, this should be the rule in line number 121 okay I'm gonna start using multiple background images we already have a down arrow gif file I'm gonna count comma separate it I'm gonna insert a space and I'm gonna look for the normal dot jpeg file alright I'm also going to ensure that I'm going to repeat it along the x-axis sorry that's a bad verb and I'm also going to ensure that this is position top left 0 0 means top left 0 px 0 px position top left alright for the next rule in line 128 uh, again I'm going to use multiple background images again I'm going to look for the same image which is normal and repeat it along the x-axis and position it at 0 0 top left corner 0 space 0 or I can simply say top left there too which would be fine top space left alright and again people I'm not I'm just telling you how to create the menu bar without getting into the details of why's in the house which you can you can go through the comment you'll uh, come to understand you should hopefully actually okay let's tackle the next rule in line number 135 ul menu bar horizontal space a dot menu bar item sub menu hover okay again I'm gonna use the multiple background images out here I'm gonna browse for the next image hover this time which again I would want to repeat along the x-axis righto and make sure that it's set at zero zero top left which is also the default alright let's tackle the next rule which is also the last rule comma browse hover repeat x 
repeating that image along the um, X axis and making sure that it's position top left zero space zero right so for people who do not understand what exactly I'm doing simply because you don't know how to use multiple background images so in which case I would suggest I have several tutorial on mul using multiple background images in CSS3 I would urge you to go there check it out understand how multiple background images are actually used with your elements and then come back to the tutorial and you'll get a, better, uh, a much better idea how we actually do that mm, in a nutshell you comma separate your multiple background images you comma separate your uh, background uh, repeat property you comma separate your uh, background position property and at times you also use the background size property alright I'm actually done people if everything has been taken care of properly I should see the end product working in non i browsers I've still not tackled the i browsers which I will do so in the next part but for this part uh, let's be happy with non i browsers working properly all right pretty pretty cool absolutely the way I actually wanted to see them they're working exactly the way I wanted to see all right in the next part people I'm gonna uh, work with non IE browsers basically sorry IE browsers 8 and below 8 7 and 6 uh, just be blind to anything which is lower than 6 right and I'm also gonna make a little tweak to the menu bar a little more adjustment to the menu bar alright but that'll all be in part number 3 till then uh, you have a good day and please comment subscribe uh, negative or positively but please do that uh, I, I thrive on that again you have a good day bye bye see you in the next part